Morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and today I'm going to show you the difference between a gel and a medium. This is part two in a three-part series on gels. We're going to look at some soft gel gloss and different textural gels you can use. So this is um, a soft gel with a gloss finish. This is a gel I'll often use because w when I'm working with acrylics for the first blocking ink layer, I often like a thinner consistency than when it comes out of the tube. So I can mix a bit of the uh, soft gel into it and then start the painting from there. It, it's also very handy because I use it as an isolation coat. This is when the painting has been finished and you want to create a barrier layer before you put the varnish on top. And the soft gel gloss diluted with water creates this isolation coat that you can paint on top of your paintings. So it kind of does two things for one. I always think the simpler tools that you're using the better for your painting. So when we uh, put a brush uh, between them you'll see that this is with the, the soft gel gloss. You see how you create it goes more streaky because of course the, the gel has got that uh, uh, that texture to it. This is with the regular. So what happens with the gels is they, they keep the texture of the brush. So if I'm painting and I want it quite textural I always use a gel because you see when I do that it creates that nice texture within the paint and then with the extra hard you see it's harder to uh, you know to move it around again because of the thicker consistency. This is just a small selection of the gels that are available especially from golden paints they have a, a vast array um, they have ones like this which is a, a coarse pumice gel which has like pumice stones in it you can kind of hear them cracking so, I don't know if you can hear that. It's got like a, a gritty texture to it, where it's got you know stones that are uh, kind of mixed in with it. You can hear it on there. So if again, if you wanted you know to create a say texture, if you're doing say a beach scene and you wanted a sandy texture at the front, and um, you could put this on with a palette knife and then when it dries off you just kind of glaze on top and you'll have that lovely texture there. You can again of course you know just mix this straight with the uh, uh, the colour as well you just might have to wear ear defenders when mixing it it's a bit, a bit hard on your ears but you see how what's lovely about when you get the light that hits it you get all these kind of little modules little effects that are on there and it's amazing how little of the pigment you need to actually color it to give a pretty good color onto this gel this is will kemp from will kemp art school